even more, even greater. Various stakeholders and activists from human rights organizations have called on the government to step forward and assist some of the families of freedom fighters who are going through difficult times, led by Bob Njage, who had been abducted allegedly by the police during the Gen Z demos in the country. They asked the government to take care and celebrate the remaining family members of those that fought for the country. The activist made these remarks during a walk to commemorate those who lost their lives during protest in Kayole area. <laughs> We even raise higher the flags of all the freedom fighters, especially the Mau Mau women, the wives of the Mau Mau fighters, the children of Mau Mau fighters that are languishing in abject poverty in Madari. They have nothing. They are living in shackles. In fact, President William Samoy, Samoy Ruto, two months ago, demolished their own houses that they were squatting around the, the, the river without providing an alternative shelter for them. The real Mashujas have been left, have been forgotten. Since the time of independence, the narrative about heroes has been misconstrued by the state. Those who are home guards are the ones who took over the Republic of Kenya. Our forefathers that fought for the Republic were left uh, without land and without freedom. The country is still under colonial rule, even as we speak today. We are fighting to decolonize this country. And we believe that this is the generation that is going to usher in a new Kenya and a new Africa. In a bid to elevate education sector, now standard.